What's happening out there, YouTube land? It's your boy Chris, Chopping Blaze Lawn Care. Yeah, hey man, I'm out working this morning, and I just wanted to ask you guys: Do you guys have difficult clients? Like, do you? Have, I have I have a handful of clients that uh, they want me to cut their yard at a certain time. You know, like uh, before twelve, after two, stuff like that, or um, I have this guy, this house I'm at now, um, this guy owns this rental house, but he lives out of town. And, and so like, he wants me to send him pictures every time before I cut the yard. So like, yeah, that, that kind of stuff get on my nerves, man. But you know, I, I'm out grinding, I'm out getting it. And so right now I'm doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? If they, if they want, if they want pictures, I send them pictures. If they want me to come at a certain time, I come at a certain time. But you know, it's, it's, I feel like it's a time where that's gonna have to stop. Like I, I, like I could, I could be halfway finished with this lawn already. You know what I mean? I, I, or at least I could have been finished edging already. But now I gotta send him pictures, wait for him to respond, and then get on the yard. Man, yeah. But I ain't complaining. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's just a little tedious um, task at the, at the moment that I have to do. Like, how do you guys handle that? I, I know a lot of you big guys are just like, I'll just drop them. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm small. I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it. So, yeah. And then, like, um, I completed a job yesterday. And um, the lady was like, yeah, I'm going to leave the money under the doormat. So... I guess I guess that could be my fault too though because instead of being thirsty and going straight to the house and going under the doormat, I started working first. Just out of, you know, thinking everyone is honest, I guess, you know. So, I get to the house and um I start working. And someone told me, "Hey man, look under the mat and make sure that uh <laughs> your money is there." You know what I'm saying? So I look under the mat and I'm short. You know, I'm like, "Oh, man so I had a decision to make either just go ahead and complete the job and hope that she compensates me the rest of my money or be like nah leave it you know leave it leave it alone and go on on about my business which I completed the job you know just and so like I know she know that she left out that that amount of money and um and she wanted, she asked me to, she told me to just come back and, and, you know, she'll be there and she apologized and all that. But, uh, my thing is I spent a lot of gas money or, you know, I, I'm using my gas, pulling a trailer to get over there and go get my $20 that you left out of my payment. Yeah, just little obstacles that I'm going through guys, but. Like I say, I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, wondering how you guys deal with that, those issues. I know everybody deals with those issues. And I'm really trying to look forward to um, seeing how the credit card on file works and what I need to get that started because that right there cut out a lot of payment problems. I have to look out for me. Don't ever, ain't nobody looking out for you. You have to look out for yourself. And uh, a client will watch you cut every bit of a $80 yard that you know is worth every $80 um, half an acre push mowing and you jo you only charge them $40. You think they're going to tell you, oh no, you're charging me too little. No, they're going to sit there and drink tea and coffee and watch you cut their yard for that little bit of amount. So, yeah, you got to watch out for yourself. But enough of all this talking and rambling or whatever just wanted to get in check in with you guys um hopefully we're finna get to work i be chopping play play okay, so here's the before of this yard back to the fence line nature strip Oh, and another thing I have a question about is, uh, how do you, what do you guys do with trash? Do you guys pick up trash 
uh, is it a certain amount that you'll pick up and a certain amount you won't pick up? But how, how do you deal with trash? Like, I, I've been running across a lot of lawns that, man, have tons of trash in it. And, I mean, like, either you pick it up or you're going to mow over it. So, like, what do you guys do? Then we got this backyard. Like, there's always, always trash. <sighs> yeah, can get to work.
finished product. Raised up, low down, blown up. Sure glad old sexy Lexi was able to fit through this gate. I didn't think she was. She got through there.